Hey, this is Carl. Welcome back to this SketchUp tutorial. This video we're going to be covering the Tape Measure Tool. And be informed that the Tape Measure Tool does more than just measure lengths of lines. So let me go ahead and get started here. As you can see, I have this box already pulled up. It is a 12 foot by 12 foot by 6 foot box. Nothing special. So the tape measure tool, we can go find it from three different places. On, on my screen, it's in three different places. If you're just set up it like mine, you'll be able to find it the same way. First one is right here. Second one is over here on the left, about halfway down. And the third one, if you type in T, you'll see how the pointer changed to a tape measure. So let me push the escape. Let's get rid of all that. Okay, first of all, we need to come over here and make sure that your preferences are set up like mine. Come down here to the drawing tool. You'll see I have cl clicked on the radio button, click, move, click. And if you set yours up like mine you'll be able to follow me pretty easy so let me go ahead and click ok get out of there okay so we want to find out the distance of this line right here very easy come over to tape measure left click now i'm going to start at this corner and go to this corner you'll see how the little snap point or the node turns green. So I'm just going to left click on one of them, come over to the other one. You don't even have to click on this one. Once you get to the snap point, automatically comes up to 12 feet. Okay, same as bottom to top. left click one time on the node come straight up six feet now you don't have to do it always on the corners you can pick anywhere in this this line here let's just pick right here come straight up see how the six foot is showing again come over here to left to right left click on the line comes over 12 feet very easy process now another thing that this tape measure will do is if you let me escape out of here hit the pick tool you'll notice when I have the pick tool selected I can pick different planes on this cube. We've gone over this in another video, so let's go back to Tape Measure Tool. Left click on Tape Measure Tool. Now I'm just going to pick anywhere on this line. I'm going to bring it this way. It's on the green axis. And I'm going to type in two and the foot mark hit enter okay you'll see it left a line here a reference line I'm gonna do the same thing for over here let's go over here three foot this one I'm gonna come over here two foot bring this one over three foot now if for any reason you needed to make this a square just come over to your rectangle icon, rectangle tool, left click in one of the snap points and just left click and drag. There you go. Pretty easy process. And go a step further. If I wanted to raise this up six inches, I'm just going to hit the push pull. Left click in, whoops. 
let me escape from all this. We'll hit the push pull, left click, six feet. Very easy process. So you're, you're wondering about these lines that are sh have shown up. Every time you make a reference line with the tape measure, you'll leave one of these reference lines on here. You can delete them one at a time, just like I showed you in the other videos. Or there's an easier way. Let me put all these back, hit the redo button. If you come up here to the edit tool on the ribbon, come down to delete guides right here. Just left click on that and all the guides will be gone. Very easy process. I encourage you to try this out a few times. I appreciate you watching and I hope you stay and, and watch the next video in the series. Thanks.